Hi everyone, so in this video I'm checking out one of the Trexos TRX 4M clones which is made by JJRC, it's the C8809 and I want to see what you will get for your hard earned money. And here it is, the C8809 JJRC, here's the remote which looks familiar and they also call it the level. And the box also gives us a clue what the JJ in JJRC means. It's Jianjian from Guangdong Jianjian Intelligent Technology. Short Jianjian RC. Now let's look on the other side of the box. So we have the usual. It is ready to run. You just need batteries. It's 4x4. Fully assembled game time. I don't even know what that means. But anyways, let's open it up. And I can already see something that I don't like, is the plastic casing. It's not necessary, unless it's made of cornstarch. You could also just use, you know, a paper carton and it's fine. But anyways, moving on. Uh, so I guess we got everything. And here we have this tiny booklet that serves as a manual in Chinese and English. Explosion drawings, which I think can be quite helpful, if I were to remember that I actually have them. And then we also have those stickers, which are also in the Osa 8560, and I don't think they're licensed. And more plastic in here. Oh, but there's the remote. The remote is the same as it was in the Osa 8560, and they're the same build. Even the parts are interchangeable. And uh, we have steering trim, throttle trim, and different speeds. We have steering reverse and a throttle reverse. And of course the on switch and it feels okay and I think it's okay driving like uh, one-handed for one-handed steering. Plastic feels a bit cheap though but it's all right. So let's get this thing out of there. Oh wow it really does look good. So now let's have this unwrapped and test the shocks. Friction dampers, I guess. It does look really cool and we get a lot of details for the money. I'm talking about like 60 euros here in Europe. We have the door handles, we have the mirrors, and the metallic paint job looks cool too. Really beautiful, I like it. And it even lets you attach a trailer. This RC is not officially licensed, but we can still kind of see that they were going for this Jeep Cherokee look here. And I like it. Let's have a close-up of the paint job. It looks really, really good. And here you have the blades, the wiper blades. And we actually do get a spare tire, which has the same size as the other tires. That was not the case with the All-Star 8560. And they seem foam filled and the rubber feels quite well too. Okay, let's have a look inside. So you move those two plastic clips away and then just pull up the hood. Make sure to be careful when doing that because you do not want to nick the cables for the LEDs. So when you're wrenching and maintaining, best to just unplug the cable. Okay, now let's have a closer look. So right in the center we have the 370 motor, then we have the 3 wire servo and the wiring goes underneath the lithium ion battery and then to the back of the ESC, then we have the center gear, like I said battery is right here and then we have the ESC combo. We plug in the wiring for the LEDs and they connect to here. So now we had a look at all of this, but then there's also this wire which kind of confused me what's this about and then if you check underneath you will find out yeah let's guess what is it what could it be just ah it's the on off button so that's a little bit different uh compared to the oster ax 8560 here we see the servo sitting on top of the axis 
And now let's take out the battery and have a closer look at it. Well, I gotta say it's easier using two hands to take out the battery. So here it is, it's a 500mAh 2S LiPo, which is charged by this USB charger, which puts out exactly 500mAh. Alright, let's take the car out. Remote on. And the car on. And then we should have some light, but I forgot how to turn them on, but I will figure it out and it will be back in a sec. Indicators work though. So here it goes. We have lights and we have to press the SW1 button. But okay, now let's take it for a spin. Some people don't really like that we have indicators that you cannot turn off because when you're crawling, you wouldn't really indicate where you're going, but it's cool to have them. We have three different speed settings and now let's start with speed one. So this is full throttle on one. Backing up again. And speed setting number two, which I usually drive into for most of the th stuff. Crawling for one and the fastest I will show you in the end. All right, let's take this puppy off road. Well, I gotta say, it is a really great car for the price and uh, but you still, you know, don't expect wonders. I mean, it has limits, but knowing them and finding a way around them is the fun with those kind of things. And crawling on a loose surface is always a challenge. But uh, when we find a different angle and perspective, we still will make it. Eventually, I guess. It just takes lots of tries and sometimes you just find another spot. And then it will work. I mentioned this model only has friction dampers but they're not too bad I mean it looks kind of realistic with the friction dampers but still if you want to use all your shocks as an upgrade which will be even better I put a link in the description for some awesome ones and of course <laughs> the link for the car as well let's see if I can make this well kind of So instead of crawling, I decided to grind that rail. Okay, let's back up. Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, it survived it. And the cool thing about those mirrors, you can just, you know, like do this and you're good to go.
doesn't really say that the car's electronics are waterproof, but you know, a small puddle should be all right. Just make sure you dry it after you were driving. And like I promised, this is the fastest this car can go. If you're looking for a present for the kids or someone who wants to start the hobby, for 60 bucks you cannot do wrong. With spare parts and upgrades available, they will have fun on the long term. And if you're just looking for something for yourself, I hope you do have fun with it too. Be safe out there and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, consider subscribing and thank you for watching.